What is up everybody? This is the Fresh Baked Goods and in this video I want to get you shooting artillery in less than five minutes. So this will be a quick easy guide. So let's get into it. These are just going to be the very simple, very basic steps to get you confidently firing that gun with accuracy and hopefully some solid results. Also big shout out to my dude Bayou Banana. He's the one who taught me artillery. I'll put his twitch in the comments so please check him out. So you want to learn artillery. This is something I just picked up so I'll pass my knowledge along to you. I know it kind of seems intimidating to jump on these guns and start firing away but it's actually a lot easier than you think it is. So I will do my best to break this down as quickly and concisely as possible. So first things first before you even jump on the gun. This is not a necessary step. It's one that'll help you and your team out. Go build nodes. Even if you have to switch between support, engineer, squad lead, all that jazz, just go build them. Preferably in enemy territory so you get more points. But drop the supplies, build a munitions node at the very least, and then whatever other node the commander or other squad leads want. Because you are going to be draining your munitions supply once you start shooting that gun. And you don't want the team getting pissed at you, so just do it. Step number two is figuring out where you need to shoot this damn gun. Either you or your squad needs to be in constant communication with the other squad leads and the commander to figure out where you need to zone in. This will usually be on the other side of a hard point from where your team's attacking. If you have any sort of experience in Hell at Loose, you can tell on the map where the enemy is, even if you can't get it down to the individual dots. You can have a general idea, and that's all you really need. The best areas where you should be firing this gun are either repelling an enemy attack on the other side of a point or softening a point before your team attacks. You will rack up some kills, it's an easy area to zone in on, and it'll just progress the game nicely. So if you're a squad lead, you're gonna to wanna to mark with an infantry marker, with an artillery marker, whatever it is that you're shooting at. If you're not a squad lead, just ping it. I know the ping disappears and you kind of have to ping over and over again, but it's, it's not that hard and, and it's real easy when there's a bunch of you guys on there. Step number three is the most important, and probably trickiest part, and also probably the most intimidating. And that's figuring out how to aim the gun and calculate your numbers. Now there are websites and calculators out there you can use for this, but the hell, I ain't never seen no footage or picture of a soldier on a calculator in the heat of battle in World War II. Too. And this is a lot easier than you think to just do in your head. So to hit your target, you're going to want to turn the gun till your vertical line of your crosshair lines up with your ping or mark. So for the example, the one I have on the screen right now, it's an infantry marker and the distance is 1482. So if you look on the left, there's all these numbers with distances and everything like that. You know, obviously there's no specific number there on the left that says 1482, but we do have 1400 and we have 1500. So we can see at 1400 meters, it's a 670 elevation. At 1500 meters, it's 646 elevation. So our target distance is somewhere in between 646 and 670. That's the sweet spot of where we want to be. You don't need a calculator for this. It takes a second. You just have to think about it and you don't have to be exactly on the one digit. In fact, you probably don't want to be because who knows how accurate that mark is. It's probably around that mark, not directly on it. So once you figure out your elevation, there's only one thing left to do. And that brings us to our next step. You're going to want to fire that thing. So if you're completely new to this, there are two spots on the artillery gun. There's a loader and a shooter. If you're alone, you're going to have to switch back between these two spots. If not, it's really easy. One person just keeps hitting R. I know it's kind of boring, but hey, they get the same amount of kills for whatever the shooter gets. And also what I found to be very effective while you're firing the gun is after your first shot, maybe angle it one crank to the left, one crank to the right, maybe up one elevation, maybe down elevation, kind of creep your shots. That way your Artie's not landing on the same spot and you get a wider area of effect and you can really fuck them up. So when you're firing the best way to do it is volley your shots fire off three and then wait it'll take about 30 seconds for shots to land so after that you'll know if you're hitting people if you're coming close and what you're going to want to listen out for is a very certain ping sound but this ping will tell you if you're hitting somebody it won't necessarily mean you're killing somebody although often it does, but it's a very good indication of where your shots are landing. And that's it, as simple as that. I know Artie looks really intimidating, uh, especially when people are using calculators and shit. You don't have to do that. It's very easy to give you all the tools in game. The things you're gonna wanna pay attention to are listen to comms, look at the chat. If you're getting too close to friendlies, honestly, from time to time, you're gonna take out a friendly. It happens, it's artillery. People are gonna understand. You know, if you do hit some friendlies, just apologize, adjust look at your map, and just kind of do everything over again. But hey, I hope this video helps you. It only took me about one or two games to hop on there and really get it going. Once you have a good game of Artie, your team loves you, you feel good. It is very, very satisfying. Our score is 1,000. We were the best. Lol. Our, look at our okay. defense score was 4,000. Already saved the game. Already saved the game. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a like. If you want to hang out, see some more Hell Out Loose videos, please consider subscribing. But thank you for everything you do. Have a great day.